Hey guys, Steve here with another episode of Coffee and Compost. One of the more common questions I get from uh, beginning vermicomposters, especially those that are very concerned about the environment, is am I doing harm by taking my composting worms and say throwing them, throwing them in the garden because uh, they've got friends or relatives that say, oh, these are, these are invasive worms. And um, <clears throat> let's leave aside the idea of throwing composting worms in your garden, which I never think is a good idea. Um, and let's get back to the whole part about invasive. There are two terms that I think people use interchangeably that they should not. And that is the term non-native versus invasive. Uh, so so non-native means that a, a species did not or, or originate in its current habitat, uh, didn't come from its current habitat, but it has a, a, a neutral to even possibly a positive effect on, on its habitat or on the environment. Uh, Invasive species, however, uh, are the same in that they did not originate in their current uh, habitat, but they are having a negative effect. So let's talk about let's talk about earthworms in the United States specifically, just because this is where I get most of these questions. Um, earthworms, for the most part, are not native to any part of the of the United States uh, because when the glaciers came down, it basically destroyed that life, and uh, and so. Any earthworms that you would find, especially in the northern half of the United States, which was covered in glaciers, uh, you that killed all the earthworms. So the earthworms that are in the soil right now did not originate there. Uh, that includes uh, that includes all the night crawlers and really all the worms that are currently in the soil. Um, so uh, red wigglers, uh, European night crawlers, uh, African night crawlers, these are the common types of composting worms. Uh, these are non-native but they are not invasive. One worm, however, that is invasive is something called the Amanthus agrestis. That's its uh, sort of binomial, I call it nerd name, uh, for, uh, for its species. Uh, it's called a, a crazy worm, an Asian jumping worm. It is a cousin of the Alabama jumper. Uh, the Alabama jumper is an Amanthus, Amanthus gracilis, whereas this crazy worm is an Amanthus agrestis. This worm is uh, pretty easily identifiable, and it's what it's got. Um, what it's doing is, is it is essentially eating up the leaves on the forest floor, which robs the trees in that forest of uh, their sustenance for that year and beyond. Uh, they basically turn it into castings right away, which you think might sound pretty cool, but it's really not because it's not something. Uh, it's it's essentially not the worm, uh, not the tree's natural uh, food source. Uh, so really, uh, natural uh, resource officials from basically all the way out to Wisconsin over to uh, the Northeast are very concerned about this worm. It's, it's illegal to culture it, it's illegal to uh, transport it, and you cannot introduce it to any new environments. Um, so it can be identified uh, in a number of ways. The place I find it here uh, in the Philadelphia area is in uh, my compost pile, which tends to be very woody. Um, at the end of the summer is when I see the most of them. I'm actually, it's June right now and I'm starting to see them right now. Uh, they come into the, the, the compost pile and they consume it. <laughs> and it's actually pretty, pretty amazing. It's one of the things that actually got me interested in vermicomposting in the first place is seeing what these worms were doing to my compost pile. But, uh, they are not like any other composting worms that you've seen. They are very active. They are larger than a normal, they're larger than a red wiggler, uh, maybe about the same size as a European night crawler. Uh, they will thrash around in your hand. Uh, they have a, a kind of an iridescent, almost like a purplish sheen if you look at them. Uh, they move in a very snake-like fashion. And their clitellum, which the clitellum is the fleshy part around a, around a worm, it is, very, it is very white, like kind of creamy in color. When I hold one of these worms in my hand, I get the creeps because it feels like a snake and I don't like snakes at all. Uh, so these are not sort of pleasant worms to hold uh, if you like that sort of thing. Um, and so just so you know, that is, a, uh, that is an example of an invasive uh, worm. Uh, so those are bad, but composting worms in the environment are just fine. So I hope that I was able to make that distinction, hope that uh, you learned a little bit today, and I hope to see you again on a future episode of Coffee and Compost. We'll see you.